Now, the question which comes up, the second one, is what do we do in case we get transactions when we are starting with a credit balance of the cash book? Now, let's understand this, okay? Let's say this is your cash book and this is your passbook. There's nothing difficult in this, okay? People try to tend to confuse on this, but it's all based on logic, right? Let's say, for example, I tell you that the opening balance in the cash book is uh, 10,000. Opening balance or closing balance, whatever you want to take it, okay? I'm keeping it as the balance only, right? And now you are given various sets of transactions, right? So you are told that first transaction is interest credited by bank. Now when the bank credits interest, normally your balance for the passbook is what? It's a credit balance, right? But because we are taking a credit balance here, let's not get into any kind of a complication here. When the bank credits an interest to your account, what is the entry which you will pass? You will debit the bank account and you will credit interest income. Right? Let's say this is 100 rupees. If I tell you, since you have not passed this entry, you should now pass it. The bank has already passed it. Okay? So let's say for example, the bank credited on this side by interest 100. This is because from a bank perspective in the passbook interest is an expense so the entry which banks passes is interest account debited to whosoever the company is. So the entry which you would have in normal case passes bank to interest. So this being the bank and the cash account you will pass an entry to interest account 100. Right? Now if you're starting with a credit balance, effectively if you see, I mean just have a look at this account, what does this tell you? This tells you we are doing nothing but reducing the credit balance because we are passing an entry on the opposite side. Right? <clears throat> so when you prepare your BRS, what do you do? Nothing. You just subtract this amount of interest credited by a bank. Okay? So let's say for example, if I were just kind of uh, doing it here only, I will subtract this interest of 100 from the opening balance, which was 10,000. Since this is a credit balance, you write a bracket in it, okay? The reason for this is, if bank has given you interest, effectively your overdraft or your negative balance is actually going down. Similarly, let's say there's a second entry, this time, there is interest charged by bank 200 now again because the interest has been charged by bank and we are not aware of it we have to pass an entry for this what is the entry the entry is bank interest debit to to what to bank account 200. Now if you were to post this entry into your cash book or bank account, you would have buy bank interest and you would have credited it by 200. So now what are you doing? You are basically increasing this balance. Right? So what will you do? You will add it to your negative balance of bank reconciliation statement. Similarly, Let's say, check deposited by M directly into bank and credited by bank, 5000. So in this case, what has happened is that there was a person, customer maybe, because the customer is the one who gives us the money, who went and directly deposited a check in our bank account and bank credited this to our account. This means what? Effectively, if the bank credits by 
M when it says and credited by the bank it's not credited by us it's credited by the bank so effectively if you see from your perspective what is happening you're getting money from M I mean even if this credit and all these things were not given what is the entry which you would have passed if M would have paid you the money you would have said bank account debit to M right just post this entry over here to M now by posting this entry here what am I doing I'm reducing this credit balance please always note that this balance or the reduction or interest credit has to be with reference to this opening balance so I will reduce check deposited by M into bank 5000 so what I'm trying to tell you here is and if you see it from the second logic also if bank has credited it then we have to debit it right so what I'm trying to do through these examples is I'm just trying to tell you the various adjustments which are there some through starting off with the debit balance some through starting with the credit balance but please understand as long as you know how these entries move whether this is the debit balance or a credit balance doesn't make a difference so what difference would it make if I tell you that we have a 10,000 balance over here and then tell you that this is the entry which we've passed in this case you understand isn't it if 100 is written on this side you have an opening balance of 10,000 what does this 100 do to this 10,000 it's increasing this balance right so we would have added it simple okay so I'm not taking any more examples in this try and practice it at your own end I'm gonna tell you how the balances work or how you have to do the addition and subtraction if you have the balances as per the past book and not as per the cash book in the next video this is video number 1732 from iadubook.com. Thank you for being with us today.